Hey there boys and girls, Lucky here and welcome back to another CSGO video. Today I'm going to give you guys my review of the new Wargame game modes from the new Operation Hydra in CSGO. So I'd say, let's get right into it. So let's start out with the Heavy Assault Suit mode. This is probably one of my biggest complaints overall for most of the modes which you will well, get to see throughout the video. And that is, most of the things will actually require you to play in casual, which I do not like. I actually hate casual. So take everything I say with a little grain of salt, but again, this is my point of view and my review of it. So I think just from a casual point of view, having the Super Armor Assault kind of suits that you can see right here. It's kind of fun actually. I mean, they add some sort of a new gameplay mechanic to it due to you being some sort of a tankyish player and you can also not use rifles, so no AK, no op, stuff like that. So it's kind of a... Also, yeah, you could say that it's kind of balanced in that regard. You still got the deagle, you can still use it in the gef, which is also only 2k, which... Yeah, uh, we talked about that before. It's kind of weird, but it's a lot of fun, definitely. And since it's only in casual, I do not actually mind having so many players on your team and having it some sort of a very chaotic clusterfuck and stuff like that because it just fits the overall theme and if you had like played Modern Warfare 2 or 3 I think there were also some sort of heavy bomb defusal suit like this one and again I think it just adds to the fun so general point of view I do not like casual I think this however mixes it up a little bit I think it makes it more interesting a little bit more fun since I think that's what casual is supposed to be and yeah that's pretty much it for that so let's move it over to the next game mode Alrighty, so now let's move on to the next game mode, Zap Zap Step, which is probably my new favorite game mode out of all the Wargame game modes. So essentially what it's being played, as you can see, it's again a casual game mode right here on, I think, Lake House, that's the name of the map, I believe. And you only are allowed to use the Zeus and the knife, which we're starting out with. You also got armor and obviously the fuse kit, since it's kind of modeled around uh, casual, however. I think this mode actually works very well, even though it isn't casual, because usually when you're starting right off the bat, it's kind of annoying, you have to wait and stuff like that. However, I think due to it being such a, a weird game mode, just having like the Zeus and the knife, it really mixes up the gameplay and makes it more interesting. However, one thing that I would like to have changed, so right now how it is, the Zeus does recharge its charge after 30 seconds, so you can fire it again. So you can see it's almost there, the little bar on the back of the Zeus actually indicates that, so now it's fully charged again and I can use it again. I would like to have the charge come back immediately if you kill someone with it. I think this could actually chain some interesting kills together and make the rounds a little bit more fast paced, even so that the guys that are actually will get killed right off the bat do not have to wait all that long. Just a little suggestion from my side, however, I still very much like this mode. So, alright, our next game mode is Boom Headshot. Probably from the iconic Boom Headshot guy, but yeah. So this is essentially just, as it already says, uh, guys without any head armor, so you can one-tap them with a the USP, which is kind of funny if they have an AK and you kill them with a the USP. And of course, stuff like the M4A1S or the M4 in general can now also kill with one headshot, so it mixes the gameplay up a little bit, makes it a little more interesting once again, but overall in general it's just like what we already had before with the community game modes. I guess not many do like or not everyone does like to go to the community section. So you can just use this one right here and go under straight hover. One of my biggest complaints once again, with the community service you can choose free for all, you can choose headshot only and stuff like that. With the war games however, you choose one and, well, you actually do not choose one, you just choose to play them and then you just get thrown into a random game and after the game is over you choose for the next kind of game mode if you want to play Hunter's Gatherers, which we'll check out next, or Trigger Discipline or Flying Scoutsman, stuff like that. So I really wish that you could actually queue for a certain game mode. So overall, this one right here, Boom Headshot, is kind of nice. It, I don't really mind it, but I also do not think it's like super awesome since we already had it like way before with the community servers. So let's move on to the next one. If you ever played Call of Duty, you probably have heard of the mode Kill Confirmed. Kill Confirmed is essentially just killing someone, then he will drop a dog tag, and then you pick up the dog tag, which will confirm the kill. Now, in this mode, it's kind of similar. You kill someone, then you pick up his dog tag, as I'm doing right here, and then you get a point for it. If you kill someone with a bonus weapon, it will drop two points, and if one of your friends dies, you can also pick up their uh, well dog tag, so the enemy cannot get it anymore. Overall, this is one of the modes that I always did prefer in Call of Duty and I feel the same way about it somewhat in CS because 
well, it's, it's essentially a good mode because you cannot just camp over and over again from the same spot, which is again more of a problem in Call of Duty than just in CSGO. So it's a nice little addition, not really needed, but I still feel like it adds some sort of gameplay variety and makes the gameplay a little bit more fast paced since you actually have to walk to each dog tag in order to pick it up. Or of course you can just ignore it, but this is more likely for you to actually lose the game. But then again, many people just want to train these modes and are not really properly playing the objective, so they're sad. So I'd say, let's move on to our next one. Alright, now let's move on to Trigger Discipline. As you already can see, and this is already my biggest complaint, it's casual again. This means as soon as you're dying, and it's most likely going to happen since the maps are not made for 10 versus 10, you're just going to get spammed and are dead immediately, can happen sometimes right off the bat, and you just gotta watch the other guys fighting it out over and over. So I think they either should keep the rounds shorter, or they should actually just transfer it over to Deathmatch, same as they had with Boom Headshot, so that you can just use it in there. I think, again, fast-paced gameplay is what we really are trying to achieve here from my point of view. Also something that I do not like about this mode is that, of course, when you're missing a shot you're losing your health. For every missed shot you're losing some sort of health percentage to the weapon that you were holding. However, you cannot kill yourself. You can only go down to 1 HP. And I would actually prefer that, again, this maybe sounds crazy, but if you could actually kill yourself, so there's even more emphasis on not missing your shots and actually hitting them. I think this would make the gameplay a little more interesting. Again, just my point of view and my take on it. I think that would be make would make it a lot more, well, fun. So let's move on over to the next one. Now we have the Flying Scoutsman. The Flying Scoutsman is probably the coolest mode out of all of the new wargame modes because it has low gravity. It's scout only and knife only. It originated from a community game mode which is called Scouts and Knives, I believe. However, this one also has some issues. So as you can see, I'm just missing this guy here left and right. However, I eventually get to kill him. And the problem, once again, it is casual. So if you're dying right off the bat, and again, this can happen because it's 10 versus 10, you're just getting spammed immediately, you will have then wait. You will have to wait for the next two or three minutes or just watch the other guys trying to fight it out. And I, I don't think that's really the point that you're trying to achieve with a fun war game game mode. Just watching the other guys trying to get a kill and stuff like that. That's not really something that, well, makes a lot of fun. So once again, my proposal would be to just move it over to deathmatch and just have everyone run around there or just actually make the maps bigger to compensate for the very low moving speed or just make it like the original mode increase the air acceleration. So right now you're essentially just going up and even if you're strafing you're still very slow. So if you're just going up you're getting stuck somewhere like this guy for example or right like I was right there. You're just in the air and everyone can kill you very easily. There's no cover for you. There's no real movement skill involved. And I think this actually takes away from the fun. So if there there should either be no casual just straight up deathmatch I think then it could be a lot better just the way it is right now. Or if they want to keep it in casual again maybe reduce the round time and also make it so that the air acceleration is a lot faster so you don't have to wait ages or, again, just use bigger maps. There are a couple of things that you really can make or uh, do in order to make this mode a lot better. It's already great as it is, but they really should stay closer and real to the original, which again is a community server or a community game mode, so there's that. So these were my kind of impressions and reviews of the Wargame game modes. I still think you should be able to queue for them individually and not just, well, do it randomly and then you could always end up just playing the Flying Scoutsman, however you actually want to play something like Zap Zap Stat or something. So it's really not the best solution from my point of view. I can see why they're doing it because they want everyone to try every game mode, but I still feel that you maybe just initially should be able to queue up for only one certain game mode. But yeah, I think it's pretty sure for now, so I hope you enjoyed the video and lucky skill faker out.